Thanks for joining us on Valley News Live. Temperatures to begin the work week very nice. It's breezy out there, but we'll call it beautiful. High clouds showing up there in the Devil's Lake Basin right now from our Home of Economy location there. 70 for Fargo, 72 in Moorhead, and sunset tonight after 8 o'clock. Taking a look, the warm colors down here to the south showing 70 to 75 degree weather for most in the southern half of the viewing area, but some cooler air showing up to the north and west where Langdon is in the 50s right now. And the north winds are getting gusty out in the James River Valley over 30 miles per hour to nearly 40 miles per hour at times in Jamestown. Now those north winds are going to be ushering in some change, some cool, and even a chance for some showers as soon as tomorrow in the forecast period. Here are the clouds. Here is the cool front uh, located to the north and to the east. And we do have somewhat of a weaker cool boundary here in our neck of the woods, kicking off a few sprinkles showing up on radar, but most of this not reaching the ground. We will have a chance at some moisture reaching the ground as we go through the day tomorrow. So get out and enjoy tonight. It will be breezy. Temperatures holding in the the 60s for most of the evening, then slipping quickly through the 50s by late tonight. Now, the north winds will settle down in the northern counties, but will stay breezy along the South Dakota border all night long. And temperatures to start your day will be in the 20s north for a crisp start to your day, 30 to near 40 down to the south. And a few clouds which will linger along that South Dakota border throughout the day. Now, you'll see sunshine, but it will be a cooler afternoon in most of our northern counties along and north of Interstate 94. To the south, temperatures cooler than today by a good 10 to 15 degrees. With those clouds yielding late day showers, the best chance will be in our South Dakota counties and in central Minnesota counties, say Grant, Southern Ottertail, maybe even that Traverse or Wilkin County area, seeing a few showers as will you in places like Oh, the Hecla area, maybe a rumble of thunder. Now these passing showers tomorrow will last into Wednesday uh, for mainly only the southern half. It remains dry for the vast majority of our viewing area, but you will have a chance of some showers too. Much more on that in one moment. But for now, temperatures in Fargo rising from near 40. We will peak at only near 60 degrees, so a little bit cooler with a northeast flow keeping us cool. Will we see rain showers in Fargo? There's a slight chance of seeing some, but it'll be late evening before our chances increase. Better chance down near the South Dakota border, more clouds, a few rain sprinkles, near 60 for many of us, a little cooler up north though, mid 50s for you in the Devil's Lake Basin. Beautiful past flowers here, Norman County, Dan sending in this photo. Now look at the seven day planner because we are dry and there is much needed moisture in the forecast, but not for everybody and not all the time. The best chance of showers in Fargo come on Wednesday through the afternoon. We'll get a break. More showers in the forecast late Thursday and we'll get a break. Then it looks like for the valley, we finally see a break in precipitation chances here, but the chances increase for you in the west. So Jamestown, Carrington and points west where the drought is extreme. Well, it's going to continue, but you do have a chance of some moisture. Let me show you when. There's Tuesday, here's Wednesday, Thursday. We get a little bit of a break, then a late swing of showers possible on the European model here. Watch what comes out of Montana as we go through Sunday and into Monday. A colder air mass settles up in the morning hours particularly, and we'll take moisture in any way, shape, or form. We can get it in central and western North Dakota, but the best chance will be... Stacy, as we go into Sunday and Monday of next week, we'll keep you posted on this because as you know, with all of the fire stories around the region, we could sure use any precipitation we can get. Absolutely. We'll take it all. Thanks, Hutch.